All right, gang, here's the short on BBL recovery and the timeline. Number one, when can you get up and move around? As early as the next day. I want you getting up, moving around, I don't want you lying around, getting blood clots, so moving around the next day. When can I start my blood exercises? That is when the bruising's all gone, so typically a week and a half to two weeks, you should start doing your blood exercises immediately to kind of get the blood flowing and stretch the skin, etc. When can I drive? So you can drive as soon as you're off of the narcotic pain medicine and you feel like you can handle the car. Typically this happens right around a week or so to two weeks. When you're not on the narcotic pain medicine, you feel like you can move everything, you're sitting on your DVL pillow, you're not driving long distances, probably about a week and a half, two weeks. How long do I have to wear my compression garment? I would like you to wear your phone and compression garment at least a month. Uh, if not up to three months, beyond that, there's not as much benefit. When can I start my massages? So this is kind of debatable, depends on your massage therapist. Some like to do it as early as the next day to get that fluid out. Some like you to wait about a week or so. It really depends on your massage therapist. I'm okay with you doing it the day after or a week after. That's fine as long as you do it. Final question, when can I have full activity and do whatever I want? Typically, I like to say it's about a four week recovery, four to six weeks before you're at full activity. But with any liposuction, fat transfer, BBL procedure, it is a six month process, meaning you're not gonna feel 100% normal, you're not gonna look 100% normal until about six months. So that's why we follow you for about six months afterwards. So that's the short of it, long and short of it. I'm Dr. T, bye.